It is no secret that the prices of GST has been tumbling down for some time now. At the time of this recording, GMT is currently sitting at $1.15. GST on the Solana network is also sitting at $1.15 right now. And GST on the Binance Smart Chain is currently sitting at $2.41. There are many moving parts on why this has currently been happening. And in today's video, we will definitely be addressing these topics. With GST going down, sneaker prices have also been dropping. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. What's up, guys? My name is Jay, and welcome to Bitcoin Daily. First of all, I want to say that I am happy to be back and be uploading a new video. So to those who have been wondering why I haven't uploaded in the last seven days is because I couldn't. I received a strike on my page for my live stream where I basically showed a chart with buy and sell signals. They said that the reason was that they detected content in my live stream that may belong to somebody else. After going back and forth multiple times, I still could not get a response on what was considered somebody else's content. I have no idea. My appeal was of course rejected since I had no idea what they were referring to and I keep getting scripts as replies so it looks like I'll never find out what exactly it was that I did. So because of this as you can see I was not able to post for an entire week. So because of those reasons I will no longer be live streaming with my algorithm that gives buy and sell signals unfortunately. Anywho, I am glad to be back. And if YouTube is watching this right now, again, I sincerely apologize for whatever it is that I did. And I'll try not to do it again, even though I have no idea what it was. Apologize to YouTube. Check. So the next thing we're going to talk about here is what has been going on with GST, with GMT, and with Stepin overall. So first of all, if you've been hiding in any type of rock and you don't know by now, the overall market has been down and down bad. Bitcoin has had nine weeks in a row of red candles. That means that nine weeks in a row, the price closed the week off lower than it was when it opened it in the beginning of the week. This is something that we always need to take into account. The overall market sentiment is currently in extreme fear. And the market sentiment has pretty much been in this same area for the last two months. The overall crypto market sentiment will always affect all the projects in crypto because when the crypto market cap drops down that means that there's money leaving out of the crypto space and if money is leaving out of the crypto space that means that there's also less money for crypto projects that of course includes step in the second thing that you need to pay attention to is bitcoin dominance as bitcoin dominance goes up usually altcoins tend to go down Bitcoin dominance simply indicates its share of the overall crypto market. So that means if Bitcoin dominance is going up, that means money is flowing into Bitcoin mostly and out of altcoins and other crypto projects. So you always have to think in terms of money flow. Where is the money currently flowing into and where is it flowing out of? When Bitcoin dominance drops down like this, that usually means that money is flowing out of Bitcoin and into altcoins, also known as out season. I actually have a great video that you guys can check out on Bitcoin dominance where I explain exactly how it works. Next up, yes, there has been a ban in China for the step in app. This will take effect on July 15th. This has, of course, caused a lot of panic within the community, which is, of course, understandable. Some people are also worried that this might also happen within their own country. You need to understand that China literally bans everything. They literally banned Winnie the Pooh because memes were created saying that the president looked like Winnie the Pooh. That's just hilarious. China has literally banned Bitcoin 18 times since its inception. Although it's understandable for you to be worried about it being banned in your country as well, Jan stated in the last AMA that it is very unlikely that any other country bans it as of right now. And worst case scenario, if it did happen in your country, just know that you will have enough time to get your money out so that you will not lose money. Step in is literally giving people in China basically two months to get their money out. So if you mix in the pressures of a bear market, 
throw a little bit of China ban on top of it, and it creates the perfect storm for bad actors to come into the space and create more FUD and more misinformation. So anything else that's currently circulating out there that you have not heard directly from the source is simply not true. So when will prices recover? What I can tell you from my experience is that it will probably follow the overall market. As you guys can see right now, Bitcoin yesterday was up about 7.75% and today is up almost a full percent. Now you might say, well, GST is down today and Bitcoin is up. What's going on? Well, if you look at Ethereum, which is, I consider Ethereum basically like the king of the altcoins, Ethereum is also down on the day. And the reason why is because like we spoke about, the Bitcoin dominance is currently going up. That means majority of the money in the crypto space is currently flowing out of everything else and into Bitcoin. The way it usually works is Bitcoin goes up first. So money will flow from altcoins into Bitcoin. Then after that, money flows back out of Bitcoin into altcoins. So then you'll start seeing things like Ethereum and other altcoin projects start to follow. So they usually lag a bit behind. So I think that we can very well see something similar like this with GST and GMT. I think Bitcoin's next resistance is going to be sitting over here. That's around that 35 to $36,000 range. If we head up there, I can very well see Ethereum breaking above 2000 and maybe heading up to around 24 to $2,500. That should bring all the other altcoins up as well. Remember guys, none of this is financial advice. These are all my personal opinions. So I think I've covered everything that I really wanted to touch on today. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you guys are notified when I post up these new videos. If you guys are new to step in, make sure to check out the previous videos that I've done. I've created a complete beginner's guide here. I've also done videos showing you how to maximize your earnings, how to use calculators, guides to help you buy a sneak Speakers, minting all of it. I want to thank Steppen for supporting our Miami event. It was amazing. I'll have a video on that up as well soon. And although a lot of people are afraid right now, I am still very, very excited on the potential of this project. Remember, at the end of the day, we're still in crypto. Crypto is very volatile. Please do your own research before you put any money into anything. I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.